Okay. So, this week's homework assignment is related to the fact that on Monday is Thanksgiving. So, um, in your notebook, you're going to write a letter of appreciation or thanks to somebody. I'm going to leave it open-ended. I want you to reflect, though. Who are the important people in your lives that make a difference for you? Now, most of you probably default to like a mom or a dad, maybe a grandparent, maybe a friend. But I want you to think about who's meaningful to you. Because I don't think we often take enough time to say thanks to those people. So what you're going to do in your notebook, you are going to write them a note to say thank you and why. So I want you to be focusing. No thanks, not right now, sit down. Appreciate that. Um, I want you to think about the reasons why you're thankful. So it's not enough to just say thanks. But what is it that was meaningful to you? Okay. And it could be just something that's happened recently, and it ties into that whole act of kindness piece. But what we're going to do is we're going to connect this to our art on Friday. So on Friday, we're actually going to create a little note that you can then take and transfer what you've done in your homework book, which you should think of as your edited version. You're then going to go through, you're going to draft, you're going to edit so that it is written nicely. And this would be one of those opportunities. Should you ask a friend to help you edit your work? Mm -hmm. No. Yes. 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 Should you ask, say, a parent to help you edit your work? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So you're going to draft it. You're going to write the letter. Okay. And then somebody is going to help you edit it. Your final piece, which will be due next Wednesday, is to take the note that we create in our art class on Friday and actually write the note in the card and actually deliver it to them. So, I'm going to make a guess at the question. If the card you're writing is to, say, your mom, don't ask mom to help you edit the note. Okay? You want it to be a nice little surprise for her. And if it's dad that you're writing the note to, don't go to dad and say, can you help me edit this? You want it to be a surprise. So try and keep it to somebody that um, is not helping you edit, even though you appreciate them helping you with the editing. If it's somebody that you don't see very often, maybe you want to write and that nice thank you note to a grandparent that lives far away, or somebody and you want to put it in the mail, you're welcome to do that as well. So what you will be handing in to me next Wednesday is not the note. I don't want to see the note. I want you to give that note to that person. What I do want to see, though, is the draft and the edited version in your notebook. Okay? So that piece is what needs to be in the notebook for next week. Okay, I'm going to field some questions. Austin. Does it have to be a family member? Not at all. Somebody meaningful to you. So think about who has an impact on your life and who you think helps you to be a better person. Okay? Tori? Um, can we write it out on the computer? You can. Just make sure that it gets to the notebook. Um, and I would say, can you print a copy and then do your edits over top of it so that I can see that the editing has happened, okay? So print out your draft and edit the printed draft, okay? Nope, confused still? So when you edit, when you create that first draft and you type out what you want to say in your note, print it. Then when you do go back and you read it over and you change the things that you want to change in it, do it on that piece of paper then. Don't do it on the computer so that I can see. So yeah, or pencil or pen or whatever you're using. And same with however that person helps you. So if you're adding sentences or words and that kind of thing. What I want to see is some revision. I want to see that you took the time to actually edit. Yeah, Owen. So what are we bringing into you? What? You, what? Yeah. Yeah, the note. So that first draft with the edits over top of it. So I want to see things like crossed out and fixed and changed. I want to see mistakes that have been corrected. So don't erase so that I can't see. I want to see those things that you're changing. And then your good copy is the little note that you're actually going to do as part of our art lesson. Yeah? So you're taking the draft, editing it, and taking the edited part and making part of it. Yes. Cool. I know. Um, oh. What is the letter supposed to be like about? It's a thank you to the person that has done something meaningful to you. Okay. okay. What do you mean that it either the person like made you a better person? Yeah. 
So I have to about they make you better. Yeah. Um, so maybe oh, it's that hard. they've done something for you. Maybe it's that they've just supported you and been kind. Whatever it is that you think is meaningful, that's what I want you to let them know. Right? Yeah, Carter. Um, so when does this have to be done? So Thanksgiving's coming up. So oh, it no. would kind of be a nice time to put in to give it to them sometime. But I need it back on Wednesday. Okay, so the drafted piece has to be back to me Wednesday. Yeah, like this one. Like a week one, tomorrow. On your draft, you have to say who it's for. Yeah. And, um. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, what if you're going, like, up to their house for Thanksgiving and you give it to them? Perfect time. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, so we're going to create the cards as part of our. our art lesson on Friday, so we will have the cards finished and ready, and then you just have to take, so if you had your letter drafted and ready to go and edit it before Friday, then when you get home Friday night, you could copy that out into your note card. Oh, and what do you mean, like, editing? Like, do you write, like, a different one? Or? No, editing just means, like, if I read through my chart paper and I notice that I've spelled the word subject wrong, I'm going to cross it out and spell it properly. Oh. Or if I realize all of a sudden that I need to have some commas in there, I'm going to add the comma. Okay. Or I realize that I've forgotten my period. Or I've added a whole bunch of capitals where I didn't need them. <coughs> <coughs> Grade 4, 5. That's what I mean by editing. So this is where we're taking that rough draft, where we're just getting the ideas out, and we're making it polished. But what, like how you said that you want to see it, like yep. the editing. My guess will be there will be other things in there that I wouldn't have seen. So like, if I'm noticing that you've got a capital on check in the middle of the sentence, that you've drawn a line through, written it above, or some kind of, I want some indication that you've went back to it. Okay. You remember? We'll talk. Um, what is it like? So you, I know, have an older brother and sister that would make wonderful editing partners. Or maybe you come in and say, hey, Tyler, can you help me out on this before I give this to my parents? Right? What about me? So you can find somebody. Okay. Okay, okay. Lily. Um, so are we, like, after we make the draft, are we going to make the actual note at home or in class? In class. And then you're going to write the letter at home into the note. You've written the letter in your notebook and you've edited it. We're going to make a little card in class is what we're going to do for art. But then you need to take the letter and write it into the card and you'll do that part at home. Okay. Okay. Sarah? So, like... So, the note card we make during art is what you're going to be giving to that person. And then already edit it, so you're going to put your good copy into the note card. Okay. Courtney? So, we can just say thanks about anything to the person you're writing. Yeah, you have to think about what's meaningful for you, right? So, I think about a little person learning to tie their shoelaces. That is huge for a little person, right? If you're in kindergarten grade one learning to tie shoelaces for the first time. Somebody showing me how to tie my shoelaces, probably not going to be that meaningful to me. So, what they're going to pick and what I'm going to pick is meaningful is going to be different. So, you need to think about, for you, what's meaningful? What are people doing to make your life better? Yep. Does it have to be like, dear this, blah, 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 sincerely, blah, 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 blah? Yeah, that's how you write a note. What? So you know how to do that. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, so, so no that is gone. I'm going to field three more questions and then it's going to end. So, three more questions. Austin? Um, so, you, if you make it and then if you make mistakes, do you give the one that you made mistakes to them and then you remake it? And then you edit it and then give it to that one to you. You do all of that in your notebook. All the drafting and editing goes into your, your homework book. Okay? 
The good coffee is going in the card that you're going to make during that. Don't show your parents anything until you get prepped. Right. <laughs> can you have to write it about a person or can you write it about Just a reminder. This recess, hop, hop, uh, soccer finals is are going to be happening. Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Aye, aye. So, Don't Brett, here's my question for you. Is your dog going to appreciate receiving a thank you note? Yeah, man. No. No, I want you to be real here. What we're trying to do here is extend our kindness. So you need to select a person in your life who you can do. Okay, you do it to a question. Parents can call. Please don't call it. Can you do more than one person? We would like to do multiple cards and only expect reading one. Um, and um, can you write like more than one thing that they did that was meaningful? Absolutely. Yeah. We've got important people in your, our lives. I will field your question afterwards. You can turn that off. Thank you very much.